welcome to the channel Veridate. Today we are going to do one phase full bridge rectifier on MATLAB with the help of Simlink. Okay, so I am using this MATLAB 2016 A version. So let's begin. I am open, opening the tab Simlink here. Okay, and we will choose this blank model in Simlink. Right? and this untitled tab is being opened so now first, first we will open this library browser right so here we get this browser so for one phase full bridge rectifier we need AC voltage source right and diodes that is 4 diode we need and a load First, we will take a resistive load, and then I will also tell you how we will get a pure DC output. Okay, with the help of resistor, we get a pulsating DC output, right? So, with the help of capacitor as a load, only capacitor as a load with some fixed value. I will tell you what which fixed value is needed. Okay, so first, let's begin. So we are using the diode. We will type here diode like this. Okay, and press enter. So we will choose. We will click here. Right click and add block to model. Untitled. This model block is named as untitled. So we will add here. Okay. So it would be coming and here it is. We will rotate it by pressing Ctrl R until we get the desired rotation. Okay, so one phase full bridge rectifier have four diodes, right? So we will just copy and paste it like this. We will click here, press control and drag it like this. Clear? Okay. Or we can also right click here like this and this tab is opened. We'll copy and we can paste it like control V pasting. Simple. Copy paste. Okay, we will connect this block like this. Or let me bring all the blocks, then I will let you know. Okay, so now AC voltage source. Right. Or we will only type voltage source because we need this one. Simulink. We are uh, we are doing this simulation in Simlink, okay? So that's why we need these types of block, okay? So we get the AC voltage. We will put its value, frequency we need as per India 50 hertz. As per India, this peak voltage will be 230 multiplied by sqrt2, right? 230 root 2, okay? We will disable this measurement tab. Okay, so let me again copy it by clicking Ctrl and dragging like this. Okay, okay, so now we need a power GUI, a reference part for which on which this simulation works on this software okay so simply we will put it here nothing more we need a measurement blocks so we will type measurement and we will take this voltage measurement part okay we need a display block we will type display i have typed typed many times before that's why it is here you can type it and get it we will need the scope block okay so now, scope tells us the graph it shows us the graph that we make in a copy or there is in a book graphs that that are in our books okay it is very exciting here to see scope how does waveform 
we get how a load gives us a particular waveform. I will need to know how it is done. Okay, so we are connecting this. We will connect like this. It is very simple. I think everyone knows. So we have connected this, right? See this. It is showing to connect. You can also connect it by just doing like this. It gives you the hint that it as it knows as it knows that uh, voltage measurement have to be shown somewhere. That's why. Now we also need a load too. So we'll get this RLC branch. First, I will let you know about only R load. Okay. So we are taking. 100 ohms okay we will name it r okay so now we will connect it like this see the connection very carefully it is very easy everyone can do it okay just see it and we will measure voltage across the load as voltage measurement device has a very high resistance that's why it is connected across the load and we will write here as output voltage output right and displays here we will get the voltage in the form format short format okay this short format it will displace the voltage now we need Output two, uh, input two. Sorry, I'm just copying it. Yeah. See, we will measure this input also. How much it is? I'll let you know. Okay, input, and we will open this scope block. Okay, number of ports too. Okay, you can change this configuration too. It will look cool. Check out, check this show legend button. Okay, see, we have got this two ports to connect. Okay, now see. Uh, 50 Hertz means 20 millisecond one waveform right so we are just taking four waveform that is 80 milliseconds okay we will run this simulation I'm sorry my laptop is a little bit slow for this that's why yeah compiling you can see it here It is showing some warning. Let us see. Oh, it is not saved. Okay, so it nothing is there. We will save it afterwards. Okay, so now let us see the output. See what is the output. You can just click here to put it in right format as per the values. See, uh, the output waveform is shown in yellow. See rectified waveform as we have put our resistance and this input waveform is sine wave simple right now let me show you if I put a specific capacitor why I'm saying a specific because I will let you know why we will put 7 470 micro farad capacitor okay so let's see the output now see the output pure DC right input is just blue one and output is pure DC right see now why I'm saying this specific value see here now I'm putting just one microfarad capacitor okay I'm changing this to C because this is C okay now 
see this what is happening if we put just like value of capsule like this it will it will go to infinite voltage and it will burst out just it is an unbounded output signal for an bounded for an bounded input signal right that's why i was saying to put a specific value of capacitor that's why right i think you got it what i want to tell you and this is showing the value let me put the right value here 470 right and again simulate it see we are getting this 323.6 volt as 230 root 2 is approx it will be approx 325 okay so it is coming 323 okay so thank you for watching my video